Okay, let's do some more on this. Um, we've looked at the gradient fill. Let's, let's have a look at this image fill. Um, you could choose an image. Now, I've got very many here, so I'm going to go. I've got Safari open. And I'm going to do a rabbit theme. So I'll type in rabbit. Go to images. And I'm going to pull a few rabbits out of the hat. <laughs> oh God, I'm funny. Um, now, where did I put my site folder? Documents, my site, Dave. I'm going to actually drag that into here because I'm using it. Always use this sidebar for um, for keeping things that you're using at the moment. Or you can drag it up there too. That's the other way. But this is better because you'll see it in every... Um, Every time it's you, it asks you to save something, you'll see it there. If you put it up in the top bar, it doesn't appear when you've got a save as box. So, in the graphics domain, I'm going to... Oh, I like that rabbit. That's a nice rabbit. Now, you should only take rabbits for whom you have the right to take. I'm going to call it something. Rabbit. Rabbit 1. This becomes Rabbit 1. Okay, this is fantastic. This is giant rabbit. I use this on my podcasts. Um, giant rabbit. That'll do. Now, always name them because you will forget. Don't be slack about this stuff. Always remember that you should name them. Have a good. There we are. So we can see it nicely there. So now I've got inside my. My site, Dave, is my graphics folder, which has my nice little rabbit photos in. Okay, I'll get rid of old Safari. Uh, now it says choose an icon. I can either now see how My Site Dave appears. So now it's really easy to, to get my graphics up. And I'm going to put a giant rabbit, a rabbit one in. Oh, look. See, heaps of rabbit ones. Now, the image fill can be tiled like that. It can be the original size, which is pretty silly because it's just there in the middle of nowhere. Um, I can stretch it to have a giant, <laughs> giant pixelated rabbit. You'd want a better quality rabbit than that. Um, I can scale it to fit. That does exactly the same thing, more or less. Uh, so scale to fill, sorry, scale to fit fits the actual and this is interesting because it it feels you notice there's a difference between the page that you see. So if I drag this and start dragging the um, this oh, it won't work. Um, if I make this squash up a bit and try taking it off the page, it won't go off. See see how it it stops at that point. But quite often you want. And I'll show you this in a minute. You actually want. Um, this bit to be the same colour, so as the background, whatever the background is. So this bit here, and this bit here, you want to be the same. You don't want a page that suddenly stops at white. And this is where the, the browser background comes in. And uh, so what we do is with the browser background, say we wanted, let's go back to, rather than having an image fill, we'll just have a colour fill. We've got that there. Uh, but see how it's turned, it's white on the side and it's white at the bottom like that. So what we do is click on this, click on where we've saved the colour to, and lo and behold, there we are, now we've got um, the whole lot's consistently that. And no matter where, if I drag that page out like this, you'll see the whole browser remains that colour no matter how big the window opens. And that's quite nice for consistency rather than having it, um, you know, a, a colour that's surrounded by a white border. Okay, pretty disgusting colour, but nevertheless. Actually, well, let's do a sky one. This That would look pretty nice. What about that? Nice blue South Australian sky. Ooh, that's nice. Um, let's crack this one down here and keep that till we save it. Uh, click on this, click on that. Look at that, the whole thing is this blue South Australian sky. And if you get it right, you can actually have it so that it, it goes like 
so you just take it right at that point there see how that's faded right in so the sky has a tendency to fade right in that's pretty nice too um, so I'll drag that over on top of that one because I don't want that anymore and I will make this one consistent with it oh hang on it's not doing it so I'll get that drag it down to there click on this click on that and there's this oh that's quite nice isn't it it's luscious lusciously blue no I'm not on drugs I'm just enjoying myself now okay where are we okay back so that's the color fill side though we've got image fill tinted image fill um, is quite nice that's where you have a an image itself so there's the image of the rabbit and you can choose oh you got the sorry you've already got the the rabbit there and you've got uh, this one where you tint so you can choose the color uh, and the opacity depending on how opaque it is you can have just a very slight rabbit in the background there's a hint of rabbit there see that hint of rabbit in the background anyway just play with those they're, they're good fun same thing happens you can have a the browser background can be an image fill as well choose giant rabbit for the image fill and you get this ridiculous tiled giant rabbit or the original size but anyway you wouldn't want to do that so we'll click backwards and notice that you can always do this um, command Z you know to get yourself back a number of times uh, to the, what it was you were doing before okay that's probably enough mucking around with layout piggies what do we do with these now um, let's do piggies as a separate thing I think I don't think we need to do anything else with it uh, I'll just yeah no, one, one other thing I'll show you which is the edit mask just on this this is rather a sweet new feature it allows you to to have a look at the the mask that's you know to see that picture there is actually um, there's a picture here and not all of it's showing right I'll get rid of that bloody background here um, get rid of the background just put it as a color fill right now the picture is masked it's it's an old graphics term actually or they used to cut a piece of paper out and put it over the top so that you'd get just the bit that you wanted uh, you can now with this you can do exactly that so say I want this this gorgeous lady's smile is the main part of the site get rid of these bloody blokes and uh, we can click there and what you find is now is that um, she's right up there they've sort of faded into the background and you can you can mask them in any way you like if you click on the photo you can actually even make the photo itself smaller so you know, the mask itself smaller no, just the photo smaller and uh, edit the mask again um, so click the edit mask and all I really wants that so I don't like that guy very much okay <laughs> and now I've got it that looks quite good doesn't it I think that's great okay now it's uh, time to move on to the next one okie doke